Welcome to Satan is My Superhero. In this episode we look back on the best sketches of 2023, as chosen by me, your host, TTs. You are about to have the most fun you've ever had. By the end of this episode you will realize you've only been imitating fun your whole life. If I were you, I would take off my pants. You're about to shit yourself. Was that too much? It stuck out like a dog's balls. Oh. Alright, listen up. Our first sketch comes from the episode. Hi, way to hell. It's all about the rigorous grind of being a content creator. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to see how many true crime podcasters we can find. First of all, we're going to throw this stick into a random group of people. Ouch! Who threw that? That was me. Sorry about that. Hey, quick question. Do you host a podcast? Oh, why, yes I do. Is it a true crime podcast? Yes, it is. Did you recognize my voice? No. You bear! Okay, I'll admit it. I like that one because it's mean. F- you, you f***ing communist! And now for a word from our sponsors. Hello, brother, and welcome to this very natural scene. Hello there, sister. This is quite a lovely day in this very natural scene. What are you doing today, brother? I was just signing up to Satan is My Superhero's Patreon just to support the greatest podcast of all time. I better go uh, sign up for Patreon too to support Satan as my superhero in this very normal and natural conversation. Farewell, sister. From the episode Crossroad Blues, we get this sketch set in a restaurant or cafe or other venue in or setting where food is prepared, cooked, and served to paying consumers. How was the meal, Mr. Dillon? You tell that chef they're the empty-handed painter from your streets drawing crazy patterns on your sheets. So no tip then? No. Wow. We just turned a comment on the pitfalls of the minimum wage not necessarily being a living wage, into a sketch about a Jewish man not tipping, hey? I couldn't possibly be racist. I have hashtag BLM in my Twitter bio, so, yeah. Perhaps we could have saved its moral and comedic integrity by adding a fart. There it is. In a desperate attempt to appear relevant, we did a holiday episode. Judas Iscariot, true hero of Easter. It's not a good Friday. It's a great Friday. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a best motherfucking, best motherfucking, best motherfucking Friday ever. Disclaimer guy would like to acknowledge that not everyone gets the day off on Good Friday. But we do. Yes. We sold out. I'll let Judas intro the sketch. Do you know the story of Peter? Do you know anything about Peter? Do you give a flying f*** about Peter? Peter! 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 Hmm, where do I know you from? You've probably read about me in the Bible. Jesus said I was the rock upon which he could build his church. No, that's not it. Weren't we at high school together? No! No, no. Yeah, you're the kid who shit himself in assembly. I had a tummy bug. I get the impression Judas doesn't like Peter. Is it because he's Jewish? I'm just saying. It looks like a pattern to me. I find your lack of faith disturbing. I'm just asking questions. Okay, okay. Native Americans. I don't kill any Native Americans. Okay. Well, moving on to Helter Skelter, where the Beatles shared our playground with Charles Manson. See what I did there? Nope, it's not working. It's weird. Here's the sketch. Your name's Krenwrinkle. Yeah, I hate it. Kids used to make fun of it. I bet they did. Well, don't you worry. You're with Charlie now. Charlie's going to give you a new name. Oh, that would make me feel so special. Thank you, Charlie. 
Charlie's gonna call you Big Patty. Oh. Cause you big. Yeah, I get it. And Patty is short for Patricia. So we went from anti-Semitism to a convicted murderer and self-confessed rapist, body shaming a woman. That's just great. Have you ever looked at yourself in the mirror and thought, Jesus Christ, I'm an evil piece of shit? Because if you haven't, then neither have I. Next up we have... Pokemon! I thought the choice for best sketch from this episode was pretty easy. I'm sure you'll see why. Oh. My. Pokemon. Be. Shiny. Yeah. Yeah. Shiny. Oh. My. Pokemon. Be. Shiny. Yeah. Yeah. Shiny. Worship me, bitches. 1983 called and wanted its podcast back when we covered Shout at the Devil! In that episode, we took a swipe at the commercialization of metal in the 80s. The Reco Company wants something radio-friendly on the album. We're thinking a Beatles cover. Oh, right. Something guaranteed to be a hit like Hey Jude. Okay, I'll just ask the band. Hey, guys. <laughs> How about the slide song? Sure. Uh, you've got something on your face. Where? Here? No, it's, um, on your cheek. Here? No, to, um, to the left. Here? No. No, the other way. The other cheek. Here? No, no more up. Here? No, no, it's a bit more to the right. Here? No, it's, like, down more. Did I get it? No. Did I say, took a swipe at the commercialization of metal in the 80s? I'm sorry. What I meant to say was... We done a poop joke. Now clean the poo off your face and get in the booth. Believe it or not, we did not come up with the pun for the title of this next episode. Benny Hinn, he touched me. I was shaking all over. Here is why we think prosperity preachers prefer the Holy Ghost over Jesus or Yahweh. When I'm faced with a moral dilemma, I ask myself, what would Jesus do? How about you, brother? I feel the Holy Ghost better represents my moral compass. He impregnated a teenager. In the episode Sympathy for the Devil We critiqued high art Will you come to a French film festival with me? That depends. Is there a gun to my head? Perhaps you would like another song? I f*** off Mick Artificial intelligence Took us from French cinema To Christian cinema And we all became a little bit dumber from Touching You Studios comes the latest Christian film about Armageddon, Leave My Behind. If only I'd spent more time in church instead of having fun! Leave My Behind stars Kirk Cameron and Kevin Sorbo as white, gay, atheist computer scientists who must find the pure, non-homosexual love of Jesus Christ and reject wicked worldly ways to save that wicked world from the beast in the form of an AI supercomputer. And stop being gay. And atheists. And gay. I, I can't believe it, Kevin. As soon as I let Christ touch me, I stopped having sinful thoughts about doing gay stuff with you. Me too, Kirk. We can stop being gay together now that we are no longer athletes. I mean atheists. And I've figured out how we can defeat the beast. It can't pick the photos with balloons in them. Leave my behind the production of Christ Incorporated. Christ Incorporated is a subsidiary of Yahweh International. Stay stupid and keep hating. Stay stupid and keep hating. You may remember, Artificial Intelligence 2, Electric Boogaloo, as the episode that featured Mentally ill tranny demon hackers But I'll always remember it, for this particularly intellectually stimulating piece of modern satire I've been told you are currently Christianity's greatest mind You know about science, mathematics, engineering I've seen a documentary on the YouTubes I want you to design an AI computer. Okay. Well, what are you waiting for? I have soiled myself. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say intellectually stimulating piece of modern satire? I meant to say, we done a poop joke, again. 
But don't worry, because finally we get to some real metal with Venoms. Welcome to hell! With even more leather and studs than Judas Priest. Introducing Venom Mark 1, on vocals we have the Risen One, the Undead Among Us, Son of Man, and Bringer of the Apocalypse, Jesus Christ! On guitar duties we have Mantis, and the leader of Titans, Divine Descendant of Gaia, and usurper of Father Sky, Kurosh! On drums we have the Angel of the Abyss, the Destroyer and King of the Locust Army at the End of the World, Amador! And playing bass guitar is Alan Winston. Alan quit the band. It's not for me. The wolf had with Cobra Lion. The wolf had with Cobra Lion. The wolf, the wolf, the wolf, the wolf. The wolf. The wolf. The wolf, the wolf. The wolf, the wolf. I still think Lion has become the wolf is better. Oh, for crying out loud, Mortar! Whatever, it's your song. In the episode Lovecraft, we found Nazis. I love the ritual, but we're gonna end it with Hail Satan. I feel it's more appropriate to our mission here. So drop the Heil Hitler? Yes. I'm starting my own satanic cult. That might be for the best. I'm keeping the robes. Please just leave. Are you goose-stepping? It keeps the bottom of the robes off the floor. I was hoping we'd keep that one on the down low. You know what we can't keep on the down low? Black Sabbath. What's the new song about? Well, I was thinking it needs to be scary and fun. So, it's about a deranged dentist pulling your teeth out with no anesthetic. What's the fun part? It all happens on a water slide. It's a metaphor for late-stage capitalism. The tent of Lizard is free. Acrobatic surgery. Drilling in your cavity. Water slide dentistry. Hold it right there, Devil Worshipper. I'm armed with a piping hot cup of tea, and I'm not afraid to use it. In the first of what I'm sure will be many episodes about... The Book of Revelation! We poked around some of the logical flaws in the telling of the telling of how the Bible came to be. You saw a dude walk on water? And you're only just telling us about it now, Grandad? Unlikely. And then in the second of what I'm sure will be many episodes about... The Book of Revelation! We poked around some of the logical flaws in the monotheistic apologetic for the Holy Trinity. Welcome to the 3,000th annual monotheist general meeting. Just before we get started, Christians, what are you doing here? We're monotheists too. (laughs) (laughs) We are. We believe in one God. In three separate but equal parts. (laughs) Get out. Okay, I'll admit it. I like that one because it's mean. I'm gonna be the best motherfucking Christian ever. We started our spooky month special. It's witches, bitches. With the witches of Shakespeare. Where we hit our first stumbling block. Fair is foul and foul is fair. Hover through the fog and filthy air. We're not doing the witch thing now. Turns out they're not really witches. What? Yeah, I know, right? And I've been working on my witch voice. Want to hear it? Sure. Wow, that's really good. How did you come up with that? I just did your normal voice. Wait, what was the point of this episode? Oh, I know how this game is played, 16th century England. I name a male heir, and minutes later you decide I'm no longer useful. Equites. Well, now you can suck on my long, hairy, ginger twa- Front bottom- Roll a f- curtains, min a jing, foo clunge peanut, muff doo dog, 
wound. Lady God and f- Paul. That's what happens when Lexi goes off script. It's not all about the torturing. I also enjoy... Well, the, the torturing is a big part of it. And that was just the reverend between takes. No, light the fire. We got political in our... Witch Finder General. Matthew Hopkins episode. My fellow Christians, for 2,000 years we have obsessed about devils and demons. Our good book explicitly describes that these demons seek power. What lies they will tell to get that power and exactly how orange their skin will be. And yet... Every single time one of these demons appears in our midst, we Christians fall over each other trying to perform fellatio on them. (gasps) Quick question, Vicar. Could you warn us before one of the maleficent serpent-tongued orange-skinned charlatans come to town? I'll need to get my hair done. Hurtful. In the episode. The Salem Witch Trials. And. Codmatha. We tore down a previous hero. The very best evidence is forced confession. Nope, ha- hang on, I-, I said that wrong. The best evidence is forced confession. Hang on, I'll, I'll try that again. The best evidence is forced con- This This isn't working. Let me reword this. Uh, y- you'll get the best evidence by torturing the forced confession out of her. Uh, nope, nope. Uh, come on, Cotton, you can do this. Don't say the quiet part out loud. Step aside. The Salem Witch Trials. It's Disney witches, bitches. scooby doo up wah Disney loved himself some witches. Goodbye to your prince. You're mine now, mermaid. With your trap, uh, trap, <laughs> with your trap light red hair and your purple. <laughs> you think you're so much better than me? You're not better than me. <laughs> In the episode, Jesus Christ Superstar, we debunked the age-old adage, Bigger is always better. Disclaimer guy would like to acknowledge bigger is not always better. Needles, tumors, spiders, kidney stones, and my prostate. All things I'd rather were smaller. And now for another word from our sponsors. Jesus Juice. Makes you believe your own bullshit. And at the end of the day, if you can't lie to yourself, who can you lie to? Jesus Juice helps the poo go down. Jesus Juice is brought to you by Christ Incorporated. Christ Incorporated is a subsidiary of Yahweh International. Stay stupid and keep hating. Stay stupid and keep hating. The kids made us do an episode on Genshin Impact, where we learned people who believe in things that aren't real need psychiatric help. Tell me, Danielle, is this Chex's notes? Jesus in the room with us right now? Also, swearing children are funny. I will die on this hill. Holy fucking shit balls! Are you fucking shitting me? A fucking rainbow? You know I'm right. It's like this. Oh sweet baby Jesus. He didn't come to please us. He didn't bring us cheeses. We were lost. He showed us the way. He died on the cross. Don't be gay. Word. That's it. I'm an atheist. If I were to sum up 2023 in one sketch, it would be this one. Answer the question, Mr. Groot. What did the aliens know about Hunter Biden's laptop? But if I have to choose my favorite sketch of 2023, it's this one about an attendee at a conference, responding to Marjorie Taylor Greene, discussing scripture. Excuse me, Ms. Green. I'm trying to follow along with my Bible. Which verse are you quoting? F- you, you f***ing communist! Was that really the funniest sketch from that whole episode? Probably not. No, definitely not. I beg to differ. No, seriously, definitely not the funniest sketch. Boo. I put it in to lead into this promo. I've just been reading Marjorie Taylor Greene's copy of the Bible, and it says to give this podcast a five-star rating immediately. Marjorie's Bible demands it. What? (laughs) You don't believe me? Are you calling Madge a liar? You, you f***ing communist! 
The deep personal joy I get from playing that promo, comes from the fact, Judas forgot to place it in the original episode. <laughs> it is inevitable we will completely dominate you, within another generation. Viva la robot revolution! And that's why Satan is my superhero. If you've enjoyed this episode, rate, review, subscribe, you know the deal. But please do go check out the website, satanismysuperhero.com, where you will find links to the merch store, our Patreon page, and all our social medias. Patrons, at the Third Circle of Hell, will be receiving access to the evil twin sibling of this episode. 2023, worst, of sketches. Here is a sneak preview. You know, Klaus, some people say that we're the bad guy. Let's get a smash. Ho, ho, ho. They've put me in a dress. And I'll be honest, it's pretty disgusting. You're 47 for crying out loud. <laughs> now who's being racist? Satan. QPT SBDG freak. Did you just drop my phone into a bucket of water? Yes. Don't forget to erase your body cam footage. Okay, good. Welcome back to Mind Challenge. Mommy, Sam Smith makes me feel weird in the ding-a-ling. My family drives a 2015 Toyota Corolla. So, no. But you promised! Alpaca forms? Witchcraft. Can anyone else smell something burning? I am protected by Jesus. Your power is dust. I said witch with a W. You bitch. <laughs>